I'm Dustin, welcome to Fantasy Smack Talk, another crazy week in the NFL, which means we got plenty to talk about for the waiver wire. Before we get into it though, a couple of things. I'm doing a poll to kind of figure out what leagues most people are in. Are you in a, type, are you in a PPR league or a standard league? So if you're in any type of PPR league or standard league, do the poll so I can kind of get a gauge on how I should be ranking these people. I kind of do it and take into account about 0.5 PPR because I rank them in order of how I would pick them up. But I want to know what, what type of leagues everyone's in. So do, go ahead, take the poll. That'll help me get a gauge on where people are at. One thing too, I shoot this before the Monday night game, so keep that in mind. Thank you to our sponsor, mybookie.ag. Just as important where you place your bets as, as it is on who you're betting on. So check them out, most trusted sports book on the web. Click on the link in the description, use promo code SMACK, get up to 100% sign up bonus. So I start with the pickup of the week. Now this is the guy that I think is kind of going to get the most buzz, not necessarily the one I would pick up if all these people are available, but Orleans Darqua. Two solid weeks in a row, and he clearly looks like the running back to own. You know, look, Gallman was starting to make a push, looked like he might take over, but Darkwood just seems like to be the one that they trust the most, and they changed who's making the play calls out there with the Giants, and that sometimes that's all it takes to spark an offense, and they looked pretty good Sunday night, surprising the Broncos, taking them down. Kind of a crazy game. I did not see that coming. So, like I said, I put these kind of in order of how I would pick them up. So let's take a look at the running backs. As we're shooting right now, we still don't have clarity on the Ezekiel Elliott situation. So I think McFadden and Morris need to get picked up until we figure out what's going on. I still think McFadden's probably the one that's going to have the most value, but it's, it's, it's almost a true coin flip. If I had to pick between two, if I only had one spot, I would pick McFadden. Then let's take a look at... The next four, Deion Lewis, it's starting to get a little interesting for Lewis. I mean, Belichick does like Deion Lewis, and what's not to like? He's shifty, he doesn't fumble, which got Gillisley in trouble week six. So I, I think moving forward, it's very possible Deion Lewis could be the running back to own. I mean, James White's role, I think, is pretty much solidified. Gillisley, probably still going to get the goal lines, but they do not like it when running backs fumble out there. So... Deion Lewis, definitely interesting at this point. And then I want to talk about Chris Ivory. Looks like Fournette avoided a major injury, but I think you know we're through a decent amount of the buys so far. So if you got if you own Fournette and you have spots on your bench that you can play around with, you might want to go ahead and just handcuff Ivory. Obviously, he won't be as good as Fournette if Fournette goes down, but he could still be a decent RB2 for you. Then one other guy, Charkandrick West, I know he's going through the concussion protocol, but they got the Thursday night game this week. One of my favorite things to do if you play in a, t in a league that lets you you'll make moves after people have already started. I know in ESPN, a lot of times they, they lock your team if that player's already played, even if they're on the bench, which would drive me crazy. But I like picking up people for the Thursday night game. I like to drop my kicker, pick up a high upside handcuff like West, who I think could be a solid RB2 if Hunt were to go down. If, he, if Hunt stays healthy, you drop West back and pick up a kicker. If not, you got an RB2. So I like that, I like that move going into the Thursday night game. Go ahead and pick up West. Our FanDuel game, thank you to everyone that signed up. We actually got a decent amount of signups last week. We're getting the green light to do the contest again for week seven. So click on the link in the description, sign up for our game. Last week, Bruno Runo took it down, although we did have three Barclays in the top 10, so we had a good showing, but we couldn't quite pull out the W this week. But click on the link in the description. It's a lot of fun. You win a t-shirt if you win, and you also win the cash like you would in any cash game. Let's take a look at the receivers. Nelson Aguilar, only on 55% of leagues. I don't think there's anything fluky about what the Eagles are doing on offense. They got things going, and Aguilar, I think, is the real deal. I think he could in the year borderline RB2-ish. I mean, I, I think he's he's definitely you know coming into his own this year. I like his upside moving forward. Same with Marquise Lee out there with Jacksonville. They're, they're getting creative with getting the ball in his hands. And you know, it was looking like Hearns might be the one to own after the Robinson injury, but now I'm thinking it might be Lee. You know, they're getting involved in the rushing game as well. I think he's interesting. And then the two Detroit guys, they should get a bump. It looks like Tate's going to miss a couple of weeks, so they should get a bump. I like them moving forward. 
Two more, as we're shooting right now, we don't know the extent, uh, extent of the Emmanuel Sanders injury, but Fowler's gonna benefit from that if it ends up being lengthy. And then the rookie, Mike Williams, having a hard time staying out on the field, but he should be back. We'll see how he does kind of in the second half of the year, but deeper leagues, keeper leagues, it's, it's time to consider picking him up. So big news, obviously, Aaron Rodgers going down, a lot of people scrambling for a quarterback. Jared Goff, I don't mind. I know he's been a little bit down the last couple weeks, but he's had some tough matchups, so I, but he gets a little bit easier for him moving forward. I don't mind Goff. Andy Dalton, I don't mind, but if you do pick up Andy Dalton, you're probably going to need a second quarterback as well to play the matchup games because his schedule, he's got some easy ones and some really tough ones coming up. So if you're trying to replace Rodgers, I don't mind Dalton, but again, he's got a, a flip-flop schedule in terms of how tough the matchups are. I want to talk about Teddy Bridgewater real quick. It looks like he might be back fairly soon. So he needs to be considered in deeper leagues, two quarterback leagues, all that stuff. You need to think about Teddy. And then a couple more for you. Hunley, eh. It, the only reason I'm considering him is just because there's so many weapons on that offense. If he can really prepare for a week and, and have all the snaps in practice, I think he could get better. But don't forget about Tony Romo. I know he said he's retired, but it's got to be enticing to come back and maybe play for the Packers. So I'm sure we'll hear some whispers about it this week. You know, I don't know, but it just put it on the radar because Romo could obviously have low end QB1, QB2 value, high end QB2 value if he ends up going back to the Packers. Some tight ends for you. Evan Ingram only on 70% of leagues. You know, he proved Sunday night that he's going to be the focal point kind of that offense, at least for the short term. Still only on 70% of leagues. Austin Sperian Jenkins, a guy we've been talking about a lot lately, only on 65% of leagues. He found the end zone, and Zach Miller's been doing a lot better as of late. Looks like Trubisky's, him and Trubisky are getting on the same page, so I don't mind Zach Miller moving forward. So pick up and play defenses for you. I like Miami this week going up against the Jets. Over under on mybookie.ag is 38.5 with Miami as minus three. So I like Miami's D. And then I don't mind Pittsburgh versus Cincy. And New Orleans, their defense has been playing pretty good as of late. And they're going to have a Aaron Rodgers Green Bay Packer matchup week seven. So I don't mind that. If you got questions, put them in the comments. We've been trying to answer as many as we can. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and get into our FanDuel game. Hopefully you didn't have Rodgers on, on your team. I did.